Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Alexander Taylor Show. I am the one and the only Alexander Taylor himself. Got a special guest in the building. I got hooked. What's good, man? Uh, my man met this man through my brother, of course. He's a uh, part of that hooping group right yeah. there. We in that vest group chat. How, that's how I know you from that. Yeah. And then you just, Tony always talked about you and stuff. Yeah. But I really know you from like watching you play and you booming all the time. You be yeah. up, you be flying, bro. Something like that, man. You be flying. I'll be like, Something okay, like okay. That. You always been as tall as shit, ever be able to jump and shit like that, or I just over time progress. Nah, when I was a freshman in high school, I was like 5'3", 85 pounds. Oh, for real? Yeah. And then my sophomore year, I was like 5'7". Then my junior year, I was probably like 5'10". Uh, but I still wasn't jumping out the gym like that, just little rim grazers here yeah. and there. Uh, I didn't get my first dunks because I was like going into my senior year, my senior year summer. Damn. And then my senior year, I transferred to uh, Destiny Christian, and I was like 6'1", but I was still skinny. 6'1", probably like 145, 150 pounds. I was little. And then I really ain't start really dunking like that until I got to college. My freshman year of college is when I really took off, and it, it just all came together. So what's that like, being able to – so I'll make sure I'm careful. So, um, so, so what what was that like trying to like just get used to? Because like you're getting used to your body and your yeah. growth. Because you get from five three to six one, and it's yeah. been what like four years, five years. Four, yeah, that's nice. Four bro. years. <laughs> but well, so what's that like? I to get used to that. Get used to like so you doing room grazers now. You be you be real booming yeah. boom, for real. <laughs> nah, it was, like, uh, Damn. I wouldn't say it was difficult. It was no, nah, it was definitely difficult. It was difficult because I went like when I did do that growth spurt it was harder for me to handle the ball like because mm -hmm. I got taller mm -hmm. so my legs was longer you know arms got longer uh, it's hard for me to get in a position now like to where I'm really sitting down when I'm handling the ball but you know yeah. like you weren't. don't feel as comfortable as you yeah, were as you were lower to the no ground, it's obviously. not as comfortable at all so my game is real simple get to it you know i don't yeah. really be dribbling like that because it's hard like I can't, <laughs> I can't get down there to keep you know so i'm downhill yeah. get to the rim That's you'll it. shoot that thing a few times too yeah I mean, when, I'm, when i get going i gotta see it go in though yeah definitely gotta see it go in so where'd you go to high school at i don't even know you were talking uh, about. i went to midwest city for three years okay then like i said i transferred to destiny christian my senior year uh what was that for like why'd you transfer my parents oh really yeah they didn't think i was at Midwest City, I was, uh, I had good grades, but like I was getting challenged like that. And Destiny Christian was a uh, was a college prep school, so okay. they sent me over there. But what they don't know is that it was even easier. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe you just smart. That's what it sounded like. No, nah, I wasn't smart. It was just you know how senior years is pretty much laid back. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's Damn, what it was. You did transfer so, the last. Yeah, year. I transferred yeah. the last year, and sports and stuff like that is big at Destiny, so. They help you out a lot when, you know, you buzzing. So. Yeah. Okay, so you play basketball, obviously, those yeah. four years. Do you, like, varsity the whole time? Or, like, how'd that work? Like, do you have to start All off four? JV and everything? Yeah. Freshman year, I played on a uh, freshman team, JV. And people don't know this, but I played on varsity my freshman year because of Cornell. <laughs> like, if I wasn't Cornell's cousin, I would not have been on varsity. It's because you had that, that connect. Right yeah. There. And okay. then my sophomore year, um, what happened my sophomore year? I wasn't on varsity. So I was on JV. I wasn't on varsity until one of our teammates was he was better at baseball. He went to baseball and they moved me up. Mm, okay. And then my junior year I was on varsity, but I did not I ain't play at all. Like I probably play like not even two, three minutes a game. It'd be some it'd be it'd go ten games, I ain't see the court. So that's why when you like, like you be talking about like you're not experienced enough playing in game and stuff. That's nah, what you mean. I'm not because I always be confused. Yeah. Because even that one day we was at my at Tony house chilling, my girlfriend was there. She's like, "How old is he?" Because yeah. he's somebody who never played in college and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, "How old are you actually?" I'm 22. I'm about to be 23 in seven okay, days. Yeah. That's next, what I thought. Though. I'm like, next, I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's around my age. Yeah. I'm like, I don't think he's that much younger. Cause yeah, but I always hear y'all talk about that with you. Like you're the youngin. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. trying to help you like grow up and develop. Yeah. And I'm like, how old is he? <laughs> bro, I'll be confused. Like, nah. this nigga 18 or something? Nah, be talking, I'm 22, like, bro. You just never, but that's just you're saying. Like you didn't play that much junior year. Nah. And they seen you to uh, Destiny Christian. Did you play a lot there? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it you was, got your play there? It was easy. Okay. Like that's that's the that's the first year that I that I found out that I could be nice. 
Mm, it was, like, okay. it was, it was okay. that year. So my what was it year. that you was like, like as far as your basketball, like IQ and level, like mm-hmm. sophomore, junior, at Midwest City, what was it? You think you was just like whatever? Like you didn't take it that serious or you took it that serious and you just wasn't? No, nah, I definitely took it that serious. I was just little. Like oh, okay, okay. think about this. My freshman year, I'm playing – I'm playing with Cornell, Debo, mm-hmm. Tory, Keyshawn, uh, who else? Cedric, Mikey, and then my sophomore year, Cornell and Debo is the only two that graduated from that from that class. So like I'm still watching Tory, the same people, Keyshawn, Caleb, uh, and then my junior year they all left. Uh, I honestly don't think Bradley liked me. Mm, you talking about the coach? I'm yeah, okay. yeah. I don't think he liked me because. Like I would, I would kill, but I just wouldn't play. Mm. And then, like I remember, I remember so vividly, we was playing PC North, and uh, I was I was a junior on JV. That's crazy, but we was playing PC North. <laughs> <laughs> we was playing PC North, uh, and I played in a JV game before the varsity game. I probably had like twenty five. I'm feeling good. Okay. Okay. And uh. Girls play whatever. Game come around. And we in a close game, bro. Like, real close game. And coach put me in with, like, 36 seconds left in the second half. Uh, Something happened. I get a steal. Pass it ahead. Bro, missed the layup. I get a putback. But I missed I missed the putback. I hit a free throw going into the half, and then I missed the second one or whatever. Get in the second half. It's probably like I'll probably play for like two minutes. I really? hit, I hit two threes, <laughs> had like four assists. Damn. I was moving. Then the next game, the very next game, we play Enid, and Enid is like one of the worst teams in the conference. I didn't touch the floor. Wow. At all, and we up by forty. I didn't play at all. So you just don't think he was messing with you? Like so, that? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know what it was, bro. He just. I don't know what it was. So was there a lot of pressure being like Cornell's cousin and no. stuff like that? Like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it wasn't because okay. they weren't expecting nothing from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, okay. That ex- makes sense. That makes sense. They weren't expecting nothing from okay. me, bro. I'm, I'm a five three freshman. Okay. But you're not gonna get much out of me. Yeah. I was a sharp shooter though. Like, I was in the corner hit fifty threes, but that's about it. Like that's you ain't finna get nothing crazy. Okay. No. So they knew what to expect. They yeah. Wouldn't, they weren't gonna expect no extra out of you. Exactly. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm making an assumption. It was a lot of pressure, but you no. Like, nah, they knew what the hell I no was. No pressure at all. Okay. <laughs> no pressure okay. at all. <laughs> So, um, so you didn't? Did you go to college at all? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where did you go to school at? So my first year, I went to Fort Scott. Uh, Where's that at? It's in Kansas. You know, oh, where, you know where Kansas City is. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm from. Uh, Fort Scott is like an hour and a half south of Kansas City. Oh, okay, okay. And then my sophomore year, I went to Pitt State, which is 20 minutes south of Fort Scott. So like, it's all like right there. Okay. And then uh, after I left Pitt State, uh, I played with Cornell for the, on the Storm, the post grad. Then I sat out a year, and uh, this year I'm at uh, Southwest Christian. So why do you say you never got no real college experience in, like, playing? So. Like, what happened at those two schools? Did you not get a lot of play, or you I, did and it just wasn't enough? Like nah, okay, so my freshman year, my freshman year, um, I was supposed to red shirt. Like, we went in, and like I said, I was, I didn't have no real skill. It was all mm-hmm. just God-given ability, so I wasn't, like, that's what I was relying on. Yeah. That works in high school. College that don't work. As far as you're saying, like the athleticism and your height and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that just not going. Like in high school, that, you're saying it's easier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, score. but in, okay. in college, that's not gonna get you by because everybody just as athletic as you. Because uh-huh. everybody was the man in, at their high school in college. Facts, facts, facts. So, I get the four Scott uh, six, and, and what was it, sixteen, seventeen? Yeah, sixteen, seventeen. Um, I was supposed to red shirt, so I went in, whatever. Coach was like, Yeah, we're gonna red shirt you this year. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So I'm working my butt off, you know, trying to get basically trying to get moved up. Mm-hmm. Cause like I did I didn't want to red shirt. The experience was so bad, like we got to school in August and September, I knew I wanted to leave in May. Now we like, <laughs> experiences overall with the school or just the program? Yeah, or the just school, everything? the program, everything. Okay. Like okay. I didn't like it. Now, when I look back now, like, I should have stayed and stuck it out type thing. Mm-hmm. But when I was in the moment, I hated every single second of it. Like, <laughs> from the campus life to basketball, 
I hated it. The only thing I enjoyed about Fort Scott was we had two ponds on our campus, and I would go fishing every day. <laughs> that like that hey, do sound lit. Though. That kept me that kept me from yeah. going home. Yeah. Like for real, no cap. That kept me from going to the crib. <laughs> but uh, I was supposed to red shirt. Two of our fours got hurt. Six seven, six eight. I'm six two. Oh wow! Our, my coach caught me in the office. He like yo. I'm going to take you our fresh shirt, but you're going to be pointing a foe. I'm guarding six nines. So you're making you make that big step up. And I'm six. I'm at six two. I'm guarding yeah. six eight, six nine. And this out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Um, but he kind of told me, he was like, um, you're not really a scorer like that. I just need you to rebound and defend. I'm like, okay, cool. I can do that. I just want to play. Yeah. Like that's, That was my mindset. So we get in the games. I wouldn't shoot. Like... <laughs> I'll be wide open, would not shoot the ball. I'm passing it. Um, then one game, we was playing KCK. One game, he was like, uh, he was like, we need somebody to do something. We need somebody to do something. So I'm like, okay, I'm guarding the best player at the time too, because like one of the bigs that came back, so I didn't really have to play the four like that mm -hmm. no more. So I was playing like the two, three kind of. I'm guarding the best player. Um, I get a couple stops early, like a couple good stops that we needed, and I get going. I'm talking about I get going. Like I'm, <laughs> I probably score like first half. I probably score like seven, eight straight buckets. Feeling right? good too. I'm feeling yeah. good because you we ain't really been scoring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm like, so second half come and you know, I'm still doing my thing, or whatever. And like at this point, I'm just out there being me, because I never. Like, this is, like, in conference, too. So, this is the second semester. Mm. Like, I had never had a chance to really just go out there and play. And, like, this game, I went out there and I played. Like, it, it felt so good. But I got in foul trouble. <laughs> Bro got going. <laughs> and we ended up losing by, like, 25. <laughs> we ended up losing by, like, 25. But that was my first real, like, <sighs> like I can relax. Like, I can play. I got this type yeah. of thing. Yeah. 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 That was my first real, like, okay, I can play in college. Was that mainly because he let you, like, he kind of just said whoever you yeah. get to it, and get like, to it, and you're like, I'm going to take the opportunity to do it. Yeah, and then he started calling plays for me. Oh, okay. So I yeah, hit a couple yeah, shots, yeah. and now he like, run this for him. I'm like, okay. I right, come off, hit a shot. <laughs> then he like, okay, run it again. I right, come yeah. off, pump fake, get to it, assist the big man, he get a dunk or whatever. And it, it was just, it, everything was just flowing. It, it felt... It was like a big sigh of relief because, like, I never got the opportunity to really, you know. Play basketball. Like, really play. How really you want to play. Exactly. And that was it. Yeah. So, after that game, uh, I ended up being in the starting lineup, like, the rest of the season. Um, what's funny is that one of my, one of my, uh, one of my roommates from the first semester, he was in the same position as me. And he was like. Everybody gonna rise, but you gonna fall. Oh wow! Yeah, he was like, you gonna fall because he was. He, I was like, he was like, I know the coach. Like he gonna, he gonna do that. So like, was he on, like on some hating stuff or he was just nah, keeping it real no, 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 no. He was just keeping it real. Okay, okay, okay. When I when I was there, I thought he was hating. Like okay, yeah. When yeah. I was in the moment, I'm like, hey, yeah. man. behind yeah. side, you like, yeah. Okay, but now that I look back, I'm like, oh, he was just keeping it real, looking at was you know what's best for us, yeah. like putting us in the best position. That that's really what he was doing. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, at first, when you when you phrase it like that, it's like, oh, he sounds like he hating, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sense. not gonna and I'm I'm not gonna say his name or nothing like yeah. that. But shout out, shout out, yeah, four Scott head basketball, four Scott men's head basketball coach. Shout out to you, yeah. Now that I look back. When I was in the moment, I hated you. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but you knew what <laughs> but, uh, was going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you do. I mean, okay. yeah, now I know what's going on. Okay. I should have stuck it out the next year or whatever. But uh, this is when my downfall started. My mom, my dad, and my sisters came, us, came to watch us play Johnson County at home. And I was like, I'm finna show them what I could do. So now everything that I was doing, the previous game, I'm out there shooting threes. Like, I'm trying to handle the ball. Everything my coach telling me not to do, I'm doing. <laughs> just because so, your family there. You're just because my family there. Bit? I'm trying yeah. to show them, like, yeah. I, I can do this. Yeah. So, that happened. You know. Uh, and then we end up losing. 
we end up losing to them uh, to go to the to go to the NJCA tournament. We was at, uh, we was at Division Two Junior College, so we would have went to the Division Two tournament. But we ended up losing uh, after the season. I stopped going to workouts, like, cause I told you in September I knew I was leaving in May. Like I knew I was not coming back to the school in May. Even though you started feeling comfortable playing and stuff, and things are going a little bit better, like you were starting and stuff. Yeah, you still was like, I'm I still dead, was so like, I'm leaving. It's dead. Oh, okay. okay, like it's dead. I'm not. I'm not coming <laughs> back. I still was like that. So you just lost the motivation to work out and stuff. Yeah, for them to work out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> so the next year, uh, I go to Pitt State. Did you already have that lined up? I'm sorry, no. I, didn't know. I had to ask. Them. No, 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 I know no. You already had that lined up. Like, so, you knew where you were gonna go next. What, if you were talking to coaches already, or like, nah, I didn't. It was crazy. My dad went to Pitt State. Oh, okay. okay. So, um, makes sense. Coach Muff, who was there the year before, uh, I was just gonna walk on, and that's what I did. I ended up walking on, but coach, the, the coach that was there the previous year, uh, ended up stepping down, and they hired a guy named Kim Anderson that was at Mizzou. Um, That's a big risk too You say I just walked yeah, on So I you just, went from Starting somewhere Just walked on Feeling right <laughs> yeah. you just say, I'm done and I just walked walk on. on somewhere. That's crazy it was, I'm finna I'm gonna just tell you the story I didn't even walk Like it's crazy So um, I get to Pitt State Not even knowing If I'm gonna be on the team I Move in Do all that Um, But the coaches That was there with my dad Was playing football there They were still there and they was like, yo, we know the coach real good. Like, we can go talk to him right now. Okay. This is on move-in day. And I'm like, okay, bet. So I go over, I go over there, and I'm like, yo, coach, um, I'm a transfer from Fort Scott. I'm just looking for an opportunity. I know I can play the game. He's like, okay, I'm gonna call you back in like two to three weeks. Um, and we'll just go from there. <laughs> he calls me back like three weeks later. He's like, We don't have no film of you, we don't think you're good enough. So what? just off of your appearance or what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, just, yeah. We, he was like, we don't have no film. We don't think you're good enough. We're going to pass. Are you fully developed at the time? Like, hiding everything right? Like, yeah. You fully? Okay, yeah. that's what I'm thinking. I'm not, like, as, I'm not, I'm not like, as stocky as I am now, but I was, okay. I was, yeah. I'm like, I'm not tripping. Like, you was tall and stuff, right? Okay. Yeah, but so nah, just, this, this, 17, 18 was the year I was like, I'm nice. Like, I could be a pro. Yeah. This is, this is the year and this is why. So my man just looked at you and was just like, we don't think you Nah, he enough. called me on the phone. Okay, but so I'm, I'm walking to class. Yeah. I'm yeah. walking to class. He called me. He was like, "We don't think you're good enough." I skipped class and went to the and went to the rec and went to, straight to the gym. Mm. It's eight in the morning. Nobody's in there. I'm in there crying, all type of stuff like balling, shooting, just because he like we don't think you're good enough. So I'm like, whatever. Uh, I had met. I had met a dude that stayed downstairs from me. He was like, "Bro, I've been here for like three, four years." We hoop at the rec every day at three. I'm like, bet. So uh, later that day, I go hoop or whatever. And they're like, bro, you on a team? You on a team, bro? I'm lying. Like, yeah, he just, I'm a walk on. Like, he don't want me to start practice till October. That don't even make sense. Like, <laughs> don't even make sense. Doesn't even make sense. So. Because it's uh, embarrassing if you're playing good and they're like, oh, bro, you on the yeah, team. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, and, and that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, I go to uh, you know, go to the rec or whatever, and like every day I'm waking up at six a.m. Like my alarm, my alarm clock said you're not good enough. Like that was my that was my motivation. So every day I'm getting up at six a.m. going to the rec. Uh, first semester I go to class, and then I go hoop at three, and like when I tell you, it was like, oh my god. It was crazy. Like So was that moment for you? That was that moment. Like you had that That whole that, year was that moment. Okay. Like that whole year was that moment. Like I'm certified at Pittsburgh State's Recreational Center. Where you turned it up. Like another notch. Like we play intramurals. I'm averaging like fifty. No cap. <laughs> no cap. I'm averaging yeah. fifty. Like I really turned up that year. So after I got close to one of the players that was on the team, shout out my boy X. Um and he was like, yo, just come hoop with us, bro. Just one time. Like, with the team. This is after the season. This is, like, April. Uh, He's like, just come hoop with us once. I'm like, bro, you sure I could do that, bro? Whatever. He like, yeah. So I go with him. I kill. Like, 
I kill. And uh, the head coach still didn't want me, but the assistant, he was like, bro, we got to get this. Like, we got to get him. So they offered me a partial scholarship, like three-fourths. And they was like, if you come in and perform, it's going to be a full after the first semester. I'm like, cool, whatever. The assistant ended up leaving. Man. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> why did the head coach, why, do you know why the head coach didn't like you? Or didn't nah, like he the just, game or whatever? Uh, because they had, they was nice that year. I ain't going to lie. They had they had like four or five dudes that could go for 30 a, a, a night. So they, it's not that they didn't like you, just didn't need you. Yeah, okay. They, they didn't need me. Yeah, like you just been an extra. Yeah, yeah. I'd have just been like a role player. Yeah, and but I'm not a role player. Yeah, so really sitting the bench the whole time. Yeah, okay. I'm not a role player. Like yeah. I could, I could be one of those guys. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like I could be one of those guys. And um, like I said, he offered me a full ride of three fourths. He's like, after the first semester, it's gonna be a full ride. He leaves. And then I'm just left with nothing again. <laughs> so you back at square one. I'm back one, at square like, one. Yeah, yeah. I'm back at square one. So I call, uh, no, Cornell called me and was like, yo, what what you doing? Like, you going you going back to pit? I'm like, nah. He like, well, I just got this job for the storm. This post grad. You can come play with me. It's not gonna take a year of your eligibility because you're not full time. I'm like, bet. So I come home. I'm playing with the storm. Uh, then I get a call from from Pittsburgh State, but it's not football. <laughs> I mean, it's not basketball. It's football. They're like, you can play receiver. <laughs> <laughs> you can come play receiver right now. No, let me interject here. Have you played football before? But yeah, I played football my senior okay, year. Okay, I, didn't, I was like, have you ever played I football? Play, yeah, okay. I played football my senior It was eight-man football, though. So every time I touched the ball, I was scoring. Like, it was so easy. Yeah. It was easier than it was way easier than basketball because, like, at that small at that small level, bro. Yeah, I was like uber athletic. All you doing is jumping and catching that hole, really, and running. Yeah. So, <laughs> like at that <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this: at that small of a level, if you run like a four five four six, like to them, you run a four two. Mm, okay. So they, they look at you differently. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So like I'm playing against corners that's running like four nines. I just hit a go route, catch over the top, <laughs> score. Like we was we was putting up like 70, 80 points a half. Damn. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that that's when I played football. But obviously you didn't have a love for football like you did basketball. No. Okay. Obviously. No, yeah. although I would say there's no there's there's nothing like running that football down that sideline. Like mm-hmm. there's nothing like that. But I didn't love it. Not at all. Okay, so you get that call. He say you come play football. And what, what do you say back to that? I'm like, do you know who my pops is? I'm not coming up to. I'm literally. Like, I'm not coming up there. No, because if you were to go to Pittsburgh, Kansas, not now, because all the coaches done left. But if you were to go to Pittsburgh, Kansas, five, ten years ago, and ask any coach, like, yo, who's the greatest football player to ever come here? They're gonna say Ronald Moore Senior. Wow. Like, yeah. they're gonna be like Ronald Moore. The greatest. He still has his own locker in the locker room at Pitt State. Whoa. To this day. So he like in the you know what I'm saying he's, in the Raptors type joint. Like he's yeah. Let me. Th- I'm gonna think of a way to put it. That's crazy though. He's um, he's Baker Mayfield to OU. Okay. Yeah. That that's a good comparison. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. He's Baker Mayfield to OU. Did he play he's, receiver too? Nah. He played. He played running back. Uh. Got drafted, ended up playing seven years in the league. That's a whole different story. Though. Yeah, that's, yeah we, we, that's a whole different story. But uh, they called me. I'm like, do you know who my pops is? And so I kind of agreed to it. And this is why this is why I didn't go because like, I agreed to it. And then now I'm getting calls like, yo, I heard you coming to play. Like, you're gonna be as good as your pops. I'm like, okay, no, I'm not doing it because the comparison's already starting before I even put the cleats mm-hmm. on. Like. Come on. Yeah. Did your dad want you to play football? He didn't. Or did he He care? knew I was a basketball player. Oh, okay. Like he, okay. Well, that's good then. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. He I'm, knew. I'm thinking like maybe he was wanting you to play football no. or something. Because. No. Nah, I mean, he would have he would have agreed with anything that I would have, like, that I would have did. Like, he, he would have supported me. Okay, yeah. But he was like, listen, son, your ceiling is only this high for football because you've been playing for so long. You're going to go into the college level not knowing much. Mm-hmm. But your ceiling is here for basketball. I play basketball. Okay. I'm like, okay, whatever. That's a good way to put it there. Yeah. So I think that just died, bro. 
Oh my god, you good? Keep going. You good. So, um, uh, Cornell, he like, yo, just come play for me. So the whole first semester, like, I went to the storm practice and everything to like October, and then I was supposed to leave. I was supposed to leave like November to go for the second semester or mm -hmm. the end of December or whatever. I ended up not going. I go back to play with the storm. And uh, Cornell was like, the Cornell, shout out Cornell, because that was the first, that was the first coach that ever let me like really play. So he he like before the se before the second semester started, he looked me in my eyes was like, yo, do what you do. Do what you do. And you think that's maybe because he knew your potential, like he knew you could? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what it was. So he looked at me, he's like, he basically, do what you do. I said, all right, bet. I come back, we going like a 13 and winning streak. Um, <laughs> then what's crazy is we playing in the uh, we playing in the tournament. There's a there's a post grad league, so like it's like 16 teams in the league. We're playing in the tournament at the Hive. Um, and I'm playing in front of UCO. I'm killing. Uh, I think I missed a dunk or something. Not knowing that the scouts in the crowd or coaches in the crowd. I missed the dunk, but I got fouled. I looked at the ref. I called him a stupid goofy. I called him a stupid goofy. And I see three coaches get up and walk out. Because you got mad. I <laughs> yeah, I got mad. Because I wasn't having a great game, but I was having a good game. I was missing shots that I should have been making, stuff like yeah. that. I mean, I was still scoring, but I was just frustrated more with myself. Because, like, everything that I had worked for led up to this moment. And I'm here just shitting it off, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I looked at the ref. I'm like, stupid, goofy. <laughs> and, like, three, I look at three of the coaches. They close their book and just, like, sit, sit back and just watch the game. After the game, um, one, of, one of my bros that had knew the coach that was in the stands, he was like, bro, they was going to offer you. Like, why you do that? I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm just playing the game. He was like, no, they was about to offer you until you said that to that ref. And I'm like, well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you can't do nothing about can't it. Can't do nothing about it. Yeah. So, um, after this, after the season ends or whatever, I got like every junior, not every junior college, but most of the junior colleges in the state was like, was heavy. NOC Enid, Redlands, Seminole, Eastern. Uh, I didn't have Tonkawa, and I didn't have NEO. But the other ones I had. Like, That's a lot of options yeah. right there. But them is junior colleges. I'm like, nah, I was at a junior college. I don't want to go back. Like, that's what I'm thinking. I don't want to go back. That's not, no. So, um, I was about to, I was about to go to Eastern. I was about to go to Eastern, and they was like, uh, we're sorry to tell you, but you don't have no more junior college eligibility. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what's up? They was like, you played at Fort Scott, then you went to Pitt State, then you went prep. So that prep year took a year of your eligibility because you went to college first. Prep is in the storm? Yeah. Oh, but I thought they didn't, I thought yeah. it didn't count against them. It doesn't count if you go straight out of high school. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know that. Cornell didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I basically just wasted a year at, at prep. Damn, so you really you only have how many years? I got two. Left? two. Is it because of COVID year? Yeah. But that's luck, because if you had a COVID year, you don't have that one year. <laughs> one year. Damn, yeah. um, bro. That's I had one year. Like, what do you mean you wasted a year? Now? Yeah. I'm like, storm don't count. Wow. Yeah, but it, it doesn't Damn. count unless you, unless if you go straight out of high school. I didn't. We didn't know that the the head coach at Eastern sent us the rule book or whatever. I'm like, damn. So I'm back at square one again. I'm back at square one again. Um, at any of these points, do you just want to give up on basketball? Like I'm done. Yeah, I almost went to the military. He's like, I'm done. Like, I'm done. Cause it's a lot of work. Like you just a lot keep of work. working and then stop and then go back. Yeah, stop I'm like, I'm done. I'm going. Yeah. You so get me, and my, me and my and yeah, me and my family agreed that it was best for me to go to the military. So, um, but that we're not even to that point yet. 
I'm back at square one. I'm like, I'm finna go get a job. I'm done. Like it's it's I don't work too hard, and it's not working out. I'm done. I'm, I'm going. You know. Um. You know Dylan Painter? No, I don't. Dylan Painter is one of Tony's friends. I don't know who that is. But Coach Painter, shout out Coach Painter. He got the job at Southwest Christian. And he called Tony and was like, yo, if you know anybody that's that's have that's looking for a school, tell them to come to the tryouts. I'm like, Bab near. Me, uh, Trey Palmer, we all went to the same tryout. And me and Trey Palmer's on the same team. Bad mistake. Horrible mistake. <laughs> Horrible mistake. <laughs> I don't think we lost all day. Yeah. Me and him going stupid. Like I could imagine. I could I know Trey player. I've seen you play. We going I could imagine. Yeah. Dumb. I'm talking about Coach, like, then the coach, uh, Coach Rollins, shout out B-Row. That's my guy now. Um, he come up to me after. He was like, you going anywhere? Like, you going to school? What you doing here? Like, you should not be here. That's literally what he's saying. He's like, you shouldn't be here. Um, I explained to him my story. He's like, oh, okay. Give me a scholarship. Uh, it was a partial or whatever, but I'm, I'm in school to play basketball. I don't care. It was a partial. I got to do my financial aid. <laughs> this is this is last year. This not even this like this past year. This is the year before this past year. My financial aid not going through, so I can't pay for school, and I had to sit out another year. So I worked that whole year. Um, this year I text. I worked that whole year, and then um. I'm like, you know what? It's, it's time for the military. So, but before before I had before I had went to sign up for the military, I forgot that I I had texted Bureau like, yo, I don't know if you remember me. Uh, this is me from last year. You know, you was recruiting me. I was just seeing if the opportunity was still there, or whatever. Like two weeks go by, he don't text me back. I'm like, you know, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> so, I'm sitting in the office of the military, like I'm signing up, literally signing up. Bureau calls me while I'm in the office. I was like, yo, uh, you ain't signed up where have you? I, I seen your text. I'm sorry. I'm just now getting back to you, whatever. My dad sitting there. The recruiter sitting now. bust out crying. Bro, you sitting in the office. About I'm sitting to, in the about office. About to get ready to sign up for military. That's like he sitting there explaining to me everything. And you, and he, he just called you at that moment. He called me at that moment. That's wicked. He called me at that moment. That's wicked. <laughs> yeah. That's wicked. Um. It was I was like I was like hell yeah I'm coming, so uh, I get to school. I get to school, um, and so my second semester at Pitt State, I was so mad that I withdrew from every single one of my classes. Like with like a month left of school, I withdrew from every single one. So you need no credit then for no any credits. Okay. No credits. Get to Southwestern this year. And they was like, um, you gonna have to sit out this semester. I'm like, why? Wow. Like they was like, Well, that semester that you withdrew, you didn't get no credits for that. And you needed twelve credit hours. And I was in fifteen. <laughs> I was in fifteen. I was in fifteen credit hours. Withdrew from every single one of them. And only needed twelve to play. This last year. So if you wouldn't have withdrew from all of them, you'd have been straight. I'd have been straight. So yeah. you just keep running into these roadblocks. And just yeah. Keep running into them. Yeah. So I'm like, forget it. Like, I'll sit a semester. I'm not tripping. Yeah. I'm sitting a semester because I know my ability. If I play one semester, I can go pro off that semester. I believe that. So um, that happens or whatever. And then. We get to the semester. Um, some stuff ended up happening to where I can't play the second semester. So I'm sitting the whole year again. So in November, it'll be three and a half years since I played a basketball game in college. So that's why everyone says you yeah. ain't got that because it's been three years. And on top of that, the experience you did have, it didn't. It wasn't that long, right? Yeah, it wasn't that long. Damn. It's been three and a half years. So how long you've only been playing like fully developed for what four or five years? Roughly? Four. Four? I didn't That's I still haven't hit my peak. 
Like I felt I felt like I peaked at Pitt State when I was playing with them kids in the wreck. Yeah. Then I went then I went and played in skins. And I killed skins for two games. Then my mom <laughs> the COVID numbers went back up. My mom said, if you play another game in skins, I'm kick you out of the house. <laughs> Hey, I was, shout out to your mom. Bro. Hey, listen, you guys, anybody in the one. city, I was killing skins. I killed skins. The first game we played A-Town, they whipped our tails, but they was getting this work. Like, I'm dunking. I'm hitting threes. Like, So, I'm playing with this team that thought it was a good idea to not start me and Elijah Clark. And all them boys can hoop, though. But you know, at, at skin, seven thirty and eight thirty is them is the main games, mm-hmm. and like it's packed, like no no standing room. It was probably it was probably as packed because this is the first like this is the first day of skins right after COVID, like right after we got out of quarantine. So ain't nobody got nothing to do. We going to skins. Um, it was probably as packed for our game as it was for Trey Youngs. Yeah, I went to Trey Youngs and it was deep in there. Yeah, so it was probably that deep. Imagine, it was yeah. probably that deep. No cap, no cap. And nervousness or whatever it was took over the guys that was on the floor. Like, don't get me wrong, they can hoop. But we playing A Town, they come out trapping. A Town, have you ever seen? Did you ever see Midwest City play when it, when Cornell and Tornion was there? No, but Tony has described to me. A Town, like, A Town like, is A Town is Midwest City. The way they coming at you. The way they coming at yeah. you. They trapping, whatever. I get in the game. We down eighteen to one. What? <laughs> we down eighteen to one. <laughs> oh my. I get in the game, we down 18 to 1. Uh me and another guy end up get going. I probably score like eight, nine straight. Another guy hit a couple. We we cut the lead back. We go sit down. The lead go right back up. We didn't score, so now it's like 38, 18. But anyways, I kill skins. Like I I was gonna be close to an MVP that year. I think so. And you say you ain't hit your peak, and it's, I get what you're saying now because you like you keep like you say you thought you hit your peak because you yeah. was killing at the rack, yeah, <laughs> at pit, and then you hear the skins where there's professional players, D1 and players, everybody, and you killing there too. So that's <laughs> what you mean, like you your next level could be whatever. No, yeah, who yeah. knows? Like the sky's the limit, probably type shit. And like, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not like shout out to everybody that's won MVP at skins. You know, because that's a huge accomplishment. But, like, the way I was feeling that summer, I think I don't want MVP that year. But it's good to have that confidence, too. Yeah. On me. Yeah. But that's it. Everything, and then everything's led up to where we at now. <laughs> I'm playing in November. Uh, be on the lookout. I'm wearing 23. Oh, that's what yeah. we're doing. Okay. Yeah. I'm wearing 23. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm coming back with a vengeance, I promise. Because... Every school in the sack got to see me. Every school in the sack got to see me. <laughs> Langston passed on me. USAO tried to make me walk on. Um, Sagu got the player of the year. Waylon got the freshman of the year. Um, who else? Mac U is a rivalry. See, I can tell you not playing because you literally naming these schools. <laughs> you literally- yeah, <laughs> like you can look at my phone right now. This is all on my, like I got I got something for every school. Like because I got they I got passed up on you and just yeah yeah. I mean for you it's time though. You've been through yeah, a lot of roadblocks and now you can officially play basketball. It's time you want to. It's time and you've been putting in a lot of work. Those times you had to sit at home. Yeah, and shit. it's time and yeah. like I'm I'm watching the games. Like last year I'm watching the games like. I have thirty. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> like man. And I think I think I I think I um I think us lose uh, losing like not losing a lot but just losing the second semester had a lot to do with me not playing because I feel like I let my team down by not playing. Mm, okay. But this year, yeah. And then how much is it playing with like the people in the vest group matches too that help help you? But also I know they be talking head and be getting on you because I, I know it's when y'all play and you are the youngest so that's yeah. just what come with yeah. it. Yeah. But I know you get tired of that because they be really on you, on you for real. Um, I don't necessarily get. I get tired of how they say it. I don't necessarily. Get, I don't necessarily get tired of hearing it because I need to hear it. Yeah, but the approach. Like, yeah, it's the approach. Yeah. Like, like you said, Bree can get rowdy at times. Cornell can get real rowdy at times. Yeah. 
Boone don't get rowdy. No, he don't. Like, but Tony obviously Tony can get like yeah, that too. And he talks shit. Yeah, Tony. Tony talk a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you a bum. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'd be like, bro. He'd be like, yeah, you talking all this? I, I can't wait till you play because yeah. film don't lie. That's what Tony be saying. But I promise I'm gonna be ready. There's a lot of expectation coming. up. It is. It yeah. is just but it because like, you're like built for it though. Yeah. It, it seemed like. Yeah. I mean, and the expectation part is just because like they've been grooming me for so long. Mm-hmm. Like, Cornell don't know this, but Cornell was my favorite player growing up. I didn't watch NBA basketball. I watched Cornell. Like, <laughs> and then I met Bree, and he could shoot the lights out. I'm like, I'm going to shoot like Bree one day. Then I meet Boone, and he's unguardable. Like, he can get to the rim. He can shoot the three. Like, them guys don't realize how much that they've really helped my game. Like, even Tony was just like, you should have did this. Like, Tony don't Big Tony don't play basketball you, I mean he do But He don't But like He ain't just, playing a lot of games Exactly so But just, it's yeah. just like The mind that he has For the game Yeah And like They really like Made me who I am As a basketball player For real Like Even Boone I met Boone What seven Eight months ago mm-hmm. And the first time I met him He telling me stuff Like yo Don't go this way Go that way Bump him off the line Right there Finish on this side because the big coming. You got you got to get over here, stuff like that. And then mm-hmm. Bree, the shooter. Like I, it'd be times where I, I'd have a catch and shoot. And I want to drive Bree like no, shoot that. I don't care if you miss, shoot that. I miss it and Bree be like that's a good shot. I'll take that. Then Cornell, he just his bat, his IQ is so crazy. Like he sees plays before they three plays before they happen. And like it be it be sometimes I'd be on defense. Cornell would make a pass. I'd be like how the fuck. <laughs> Hey, do that. Yeah. And then just been working with Cornell for so long, like, th- yeah. And you been training. What is it? Is it Get More Games? That's his name. That dude. Zeph. That? I don't yeah. know his name. Let's yeah, Zeph. That's my guy. No, no disrespect. I should know no, his no, actual no. name, but I know the Get but, More um, Game. I know that, of course. Yeah. The what's, what's crazy is, uh, shout out my guy Jonathan. Um, Jonathan and Zeph was part was, was like working with each other type, mm-hmm. and um. That's how I got introduced to Zeph. Then, excuse me. Then Jonathan ended up getting a job for the Detroit Pistons, like a month ago. What? I ain't so he's in Detroit right now. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but him and Zeph, him and Zeph, uh, definitely had some big plans. Like, and, and then that's how I got introduced to Zeph. Uh, Zeph is one of the best in the game right now. I be seeing as as training, training stuff, and I see yeah. a lot of people doing it. A lot of like yeah. good skilled players. And I'm like, well, yeah. he must be good then, you know? Yeah, he wanted, He's one of the best in the game right now, for sure. And the, what gym are you? Is that is that was uh, that some tripping? That's not over here. No, no, no. You know where Miracle Revival is downtown? No, no. It, it looks like a similar gym. I guess it ain't the gym I was thinking of, but. The gym look real grimy. If it's the gym I'm thinking it's of, it's grimy. Yeah, I'm like the gym look real grimy. They ain't really put work. It's real. It's like imagine it get hot in there too. Whew. Yeah. But it's not as bad as his first gym. His first gym was uh the one on uh what's the name of that? What's the name of that gym on fourth? Is it over here? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm yeah, the, that with the gym. blue. Okay, that, that first he gym. He moved. Now nah, he moved. Okay. That's his first gym. That was his that first gym. That gym used to get like 150 okay. degrees in the summer. You talking about over there, like by the by the um I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. it's it's connected to the church. Gym. Yeah, yeah. That they got gym. that like movie theater. Yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That's the gym I'm thinking of. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, that gym grimy. Like, that gym real. is really grimy. Because I ain't been like, there a few times. I'm like, that mug is old it used and raggedy. To get, like, it used so. to get like 120, 130 in the summer in there. And y'all in there getting that work in. Yeah. Yeah. But the new gym, the same way though. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Because it's a, it's connected to the church too. And it's probably even more grimy because the rims is, the rims ain't, you know, the rims is bent, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> they be in, we be in there working. Yeah. For sure. Shout out Zef. Yeah, Zef Zef got something good going for sure. Man, but that's what I'm saying. I just never yeah. like like I said, I don't I ain't never knew your story or nothing. Yeah. But when you like, I need to come on, I need to talk about it. I'm like, what's who got to talk about? Cause I'm just curious, like, what's he? Cause I'm I'm making an assumption. Somebody look at somebody your size, mm-hmm. your height, you think, ah, oh, he went D one, everything was easy. Yeah. Everything was given. Yeah. But like you just said, you done ran through like a mini roadblock. Yeah. And you weren't always this size. Nah. So it's blowing my mind right now. I'm like, if yeah, I was developed that quick, if I was this size when I was a freshman in high school, yeah. I'd be on the G League team. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. So when you say professionally, is that what you mean? You want to go? You want to make all the way to like full NBA league? Or are you saying you just want to play overseas? You just That's, anything I mean, of course, for any basketball player, NBA is the goal. Yeah. 
Um, but I watch I watch Boone's podcast, and like he said, I got to think of my age and guys that are my age in the league, like Jason Tatum. Me and him the same age. Devin Booker, type, Devin Booker, like Devin my age Booker's today. a year two older than me. Yeah, like I got to put that into perspective. If if that happens, it happens. Like I'm gonna work my butt off to give me a shot to get there. But mm-hmm. like right now, I want to go overseas. Um. Make some bread. I just want to play. I just want to play basketball and make money. Like, ever since I was a kid, that's all it was. Like, I love the game so much. It's just, I just want to get paid to play something that I love. I'm not a nine to five guy at all. Like, I don't take. I don't. I don't take construction well. Like, nah. My orders from another person. Yeah. Type stuff. I don't. I feel you. Yeah. I don't do that well. I could do that on the basketball court because that's something that I want to do. It's something you love. Exactly. Difference. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But nah, I'm not. I'm not a nine to five guy. Um, I just love the game. Like that's that's all it is. I just want to. I just want to go get paid to play something that I genuinely love doing, and that's basketball. Well, I could see you doing it because I'm just you know, all the roadblocks you're in. So I'm like, bro, you ain't never just quit at some point. And you're like, yeah, I wanted to, obviously. But it, it wasn't. Yeah. I think it was God, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because mm. like everything, everything that happened, like a door closed for another one to open. Like now, yeah, I pissed eight. Yeah, whatever. Okay, now I'm at Southwestern Christian. Okay, I'm gonna get a chance to play. The coach like me. All the t- all my teammates like me. Uh, we all get along. Like it's like the perfect fit for me. The the system that we run, the offense that we run, is gonna let me play. It's gonna let me do my thing. You know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm a downhill type of guy. Get to the rim. I'm coming off screen again downhill now. I can shoot. So everything, everything, all the roadblocks I say that has led me to this moment. I look that now that I look back, I look at it as a blessing. Cause like. If I would have stayed at Fort Scott, um, I probably would have got my ex pregnant. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm not gonna say her name, but I probably would have got her pregnant. If I'd have stayed at Pitt State, I probably would have had 15 girls pregnant. Um, Just because, th- for context, I'm assuming you not you weren't really on track, like no, mentally. You like, weren't locked I'm, in. I'm gonna explain to you. Pittsburgh State. There's nothing in Pittsburgh, Kansas. But women and alcohol. That's all it is to do there. Distractions. That's all, that's that's all, all it is to do. Is that's all it is yeah. to do in Pitt State. Like I call my dad right now. He's like, that's why I applaud my dad so much because now going to experience. Mm-hmm. Like that's huge that he did that because I know how easy it is to get off track at Pittsburgh State University. And like that's how easy it is. Like. You out with a girl till three in the morning. Oh, now you done missed class. Now your sleep schedule is off. Now you're doing it every night. Like mm-hmm. it's back to back. Now practice, you ain't playing now, good. Exactly. Tired. Exactly. Yeah, so like it's that. all yeah, yeah. It all plays into withdrawing. Mm, drama. Yeah. It's everything that comes It all plays into withdrawing your second semester. That's yeah. what all plays into it. Is because when I went to Pitt State, I was not I was no party guy at all. Like I was strictly business gym. School, back to my room. Uh, I got to Pitt State like the first three months. I was still like that gym, school. Then um, football team started winning, and when they winning, the whole town is up. Everybody turning up, up like like you said, they ain't got nothing to do there. Nothing, nothing to do. Yeah. It's nothing to do but go to school, chase women, and go out on the weekends. It's a house party every day. It's a day party every day. Like, <laughs> Twisted Tuesdays, yeah. Wasted Wednesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Faded Fridays, <laughs> Slutty Saturdays. Like, these are these are literally, yeah. these are, like, that's what happens at Pittsburgh State. And now that I look back, it was a great thing that I got out of there. It was great that I got out of there because, yeah. I, <laughs> and yeah. now, but now, luckily, now you're here, like you said. Yeah. Like, all this stuff that led you to be here, and you exactly. learned a lot of lessons, too. Like, yeah. Cause let's say right now you had to get put in that back in that position, like where you were at a small school or something. Mm-hmm. When the when town ain't got nothing going on, mm-hmm. you already gonna know. Yeah, gonna be a lot of distractions. Let me get locked in. Yeah, because it's what happened at Pittsburgh State. Right, I know it going. You know right. what I'm saying? 
That makes sense. Though. Right. And what's crazy is Southwestern Christian offers like not the alcohol and stuff like that, but as mm -hmm. far as women, like it's the same distractions, just on a smaller scale. So I kind of got lost this year. Like, broke up with my girl, whatever. Like, I was down, like, just down. And wasn't going to the gym. I leave practice. Usually after practice, I'm me and a couple other guys, the only ones getting shot to, we're the last ones to leave the gym. After practice, I'm straight to my car, straight to the crib. Like, and that had to do all with a woman. Breakups and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm, wave, I'm, I'm good now, though. Now, so, it's straight business. It's business. Straight business. It's business. If somebody, if a female was to come along now, I would have to explain to them, like, look, this is where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have time for what you're trying to do. Like, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a certain amount of time. I'm going to give you this just because that's what you deserve. Like every every time I'm uh, the time I'm free, I'm gonna try and spend it with you just because that's what you deserve. But this is my schedule. This is what I have to do. This is what I don't have to do. I have to get in the gym two times a day and practice. So six a.m. I'm waking up. I'm going to the gym. Sc class practice. Eight p.m. I'm going back to the gym for like an hour just to get shot up. My curfew is eleven. I set my own curfew for eleven just because I don't. It's America. I don't need to be on the streets two thirty three mm -hmm. in the morning. <laughs> From 9 to 11, I'm giving you that time. I'll even give you Saturday and Sunday because I'm not working out on Saturday and Sunday. So we can spend the whole weekend together. But this is my this is what I do during the week. Yeah, Monday through Friday. It's yeah. like a job, but it, it's something exactly. you love. But it's a job. Exactly. It's work. Exactly. But I didn't explain that to her. So that's that's a whole different story. But <laughs> whole that's a whole different story. Right? Yeah, that's a whole other podcast. But I didn't I didn't explain it to her. And you know, all that stuff happened. Whatever, whatever happened, happened. It's whatever. I'm not tripping now. But now you sat on on your own yeah. road and you're looking ahead and you know yeah. it's on that road. And if something was to just magically, you know, like, yeah. And I explained it to them and they accept it. And then these four, these five or six years, these next five or six years, I work hard and I get where I want to be. Okay, now you can benefit. But for these five or six years, I'm telling you what's what it's gonna be. I heard somebody say. If you if you do what you love for four hours a day in five years, you'll be you you'll be an expert. I wish I'd have known that five years ago. But they said if you do something that you love for four hours a day in five years, you will be an absolute expert at it. My five years started Sunday. <laughs> so again, you back at square one. But like it I'm just back keep at, happening. Yeah. But not, it's not, a different not like, square yeah, one. Yeah, it's a different square one. Yeah. Now I'm like I'm locked in. Like, I don't have, this is, my dad to always, always tells me my window is this small. Mm. I don't have to, I don't have time to waste. Like, this is it. And every day is, it keeps going. So in order for me to push through that window, I got to buckle down. I don't have time to be chasing females. I don't have time to be out. My friends ask me to go out all the time. Yeah, I'll yeah. go. You know, yeah. I'll go. Yeah. Ten thirty come around. I'm like, you, you know, you know what? Standing in the crib. <laughs> it's true. I, we invited you out, and I don't ever really see you out. I mean, you'll you'll come to Tony's to kick it or something, but you yeah, don't be out that's why. Yeah, and I'll be out at ten o'clock. Yeah, I'm going home. Focus. Like I be up at six, seven in the morning. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing it. Like it's not happening. So that's where I'm at right now, bro. Just no time for distractions. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. No time for distractions. I got a huge, a huge season coming up, like, and I know that. And you only got two years of eligibility left, so. And I'm like, gonna be prepared. And you gotta lock in them two years. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. But if this year goes as planned, I'm going pro. Because then let's put <laughs> hypothetically, like, you go hard these next two years. If you're able to go pro, you got two more years. And then you, I mean, you get up in the age, like yeah. 25, 26, 27. But like you, your pop said, you got a small window, so exactly. Like you said, you lock in this four or five years. You can make you a decent amount of bread and, and exactly. experience a lot in exactly. two or three years in, in profession. I mean, exactly. Boone only played like one one year, I think. Yeah, and he, he experienced a lot. Yes, he. You could exactly. tell he really loved playing overseas. Yeah. Like he got an itch for it still. Yeah, like think about Cornell. Uh, Cornell what twenty six, twenty seven now, mm -hmm. and I feel like Cornell is at his peak right now. Yeah, I watch him play, and it's like I'm, like you wouldn't know he's twenty six, twenty seven. You wouldn't exactly. know that. You would exactly. not know that. I witnessed Cornell go for fifty three. Yeah. 
Like he had 34 out of 38 points in the first half. At the station. At the station. Was so, I watched the highlights. I'm like, hey. You would think this nigga literally went D1 and went overseas or something. You would think he played Yeah, you would think that. How he was playing. Like, when I was watching that tape of him at the station, I'm like, you could tell it's just so easy. Yeah. It's effortless. For yeah. Him, like him and Bream. Bream as well. Bre- oh it's my just God. effortless. It's like they're not even trying. The world better be glad them two was not 6'3. <laughs> no, imagine the booming too, dunking and stuff too. Come on, on top now. of that, and Cornet and Cornet and College had bounce. He yeah. would dunk you. That's crazy thing about. Bro. But like Cornet and Bremen, the world better be lucky they not six two six three. You're looking at Damian Lillard, and yeah, Bremen is Damian is and Steph. Yeah, like, that's what it'd be. I say Bree, Bree Steph, like, and Dame is yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. I mean, that's exactly. a good comparison. I mean, yeah. yeah, like that that they would be at that level. Cause that's how good they are, right? Even Boone, like Boone had his trials and tribulations. Like Boone should be in the league. Yeah. Boone is a, a pro. When I like, first watched him play, like that when <laughs> I was playing at that uh, wherever that was, and I'm, he started playing. I like it because I didn't know who he was. I'm yeah, like, who is this nigga? Yeah, because he came down here with a boom boom bop yeah. and went to the rim. Yeah, you like, talking about at the church? At the yeah, church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm like, yeah. who the fuck is this? The first time I've ever yeah. seen him. I ain't know him. Boone like that, and I'm like, this nigga can hoop. Like, yeah, who's this? Yeah, Boone's league to me. Yeah. Boone's league. All three of them guys, like, for real, could, could, could go to the league easily. And you, what's crazy is there's so many guys in Oklahoma City that's like that. Mm, but I feel like Oklahoma City kind of slept on, I feel like. Waste too. Like, oh, my goodness. Slept on. Oh, my goodness. There's so many guys in Oklahoma City that's like that. I can name 10 guys that's, that could play in the league right now in Oklahoma City. Mm. You got to even get perspective. Like, when I watch Trey Young play, I be like, I'm like, damn, that nigga really from here. But I'm like, that's crazy because so many niggas like Trey Young here. Like, they really can hoop hoop, like, for real. Hoop. Like, for real, just think under the all radar. The guys we thinking about play with Trey Young or play against them or no, and they had no issue. Like no I'm not gonna issue. say not not no issues, but yeah. they held their weight. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. And then yeah, you also got to think Trey is playing against the best in the world. Mm-hmm. So just off that, he's gonna he's gonna be faster. He's gonna be quicker. Like imagine Cornell and Bremen playing with in, with pro. Like yeah, with. With other NBA players developing their game with them and stuff. Exactly, yeah. it'd be it'd be exactly dangerous as hell. Dangerous. <laughs> oh, me. And it's guys like that all over the city. Yeah, all over the city. Oklahoma City is so slept on for basketball. So slept on. But, you know, mm, man, I it. appreciate you coming on, brother. Yes, sir. Because you you didn't put. I really didn't know nothing about you. Like yeah. for real, that's all. That's all I told Hook before. I'm like, bro, I don't know nothing about you. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, but I, I definitely got to come watch you play then. Um, them college games. Tony probably gonna go. I'll go with yeah. him, bro. Because I got to see. Because now I know the backstory. It's gonna be a show. Now I know the backstory. It's gonna be a show. I promise. So it's more than just basketball. To it's you. It's way more, more than just. It's way well, more I got than a basketball. few more seasons hooping. It's deeper than. Yeah, it's, way deeper. it's way. It's them nights I was crying because I didn't have nowhere to go to school. It's them. It's them days that. I was crying at work. Like it's them days that I'm looking at my friends. They don't. They playing. They playing in college. You know, heartbroken. It's all that. All that is. It's. It's about to. You about to see it. Mm. All the emotion. Everything. Like. After this summer, I'm gonna be ready to be a pro. Like that's, that's how much work I'm gonna put in this. Yeah. After this summer, I'm gonna be ready to be professional and everything that I've worked for is about to be shown I don't have no other options I'm not going to the military I don't I don't want to get my money to Uncle Sam <laughs> hey, I can't I'm, not, I'm not I'm not a 9 to 5 guy yeah all I know is basketball and that's the truth I'm finna I'm finna I'm telling you Hey, bro, I'm excited now. I'm, I'm telling uh, you. You got me ready to watch you play. I'm yeah. excited to see this, bro. Uh, I appreciate you coming on. Here, no bro, problem, bro. I appreciate for you. Real. For I sure. appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Uh, what's your IG? Just so people uh, um, will follow you and stuff. Can I look at the camera? Yeah. Follow me on Instagram at Hoodie Ron Glow. Um, I mean, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Just be ready for my guy. Be on the lookout. Just be ready. I promise. Listen, I'm coming. <laughs> And you, you played the skins this, this this season too, right? Uh, I don't. I put my name in free agency. The team that I was gonna play with, the same team I was I played with last year, I was gonna play with them this year, but I don't think they got picked up. Okay. So I put my name in free agency, and I ain't, I haven't heard nothing back. But you're yet, in the great so. you're in the great runs, right? Uh, I'm not playing with Bremen them though. 
But you're in the ground. I'm saying that you yeah, play in the ground, yeah, so yeah, people want to come watch you play great runs. Too. Yeah. Uh, Pull up. Uh, yeah. I don't. I play. I'm playing with quicks. I don't know what time we play, but I know it's tomorrow. So I mean, it's on Friday. So yeah, that's all yeah. y'all need to know. Uh, but yeah, man, shout my guy Hook for coming on. Like, yes, sir. I got the backstory. So yeah. y'all, because y'all look. Let me say it like this. You on Instagram, everybody see the videos, the pictures you up in yeah. the air in the odds. Yeah. You know, Scott Duncan and shit. You in the air floating and shit. Yeah. But people don't know that a lot of all hard the, work came into that. All, it's flashy, yeah. it's cool. You got the highlight tape and shit, but like But it, there's uh, a reason not there's yeah. a reason behind it. That's what I'm saying. Like there's, there's a, a reason, reason why it. you got the connections you got now, right. open, the people you're training with, it's a right. lot of stuff. That people don't know. Yeah, you look on social media, you don't really know everything. Exactly. It's social social media is the is the highlight. Mm -hmm. For real. Like, I put it like this: Instagram is the highlight. <clears throat> Snapchat Snapchat is like the backstory, because like you could take videos, you could post, you could post on Snapchat, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, like you said, I'm coming. I promise. I'm gonna name this episode. That's what I'm gonna name it. I'm coming. That's what I'm naming. Yeah. That's what I'm naming. It, yeah. But man, I appreciate you coming on again. Yes, sir. Telling your story is really dope, bro. I think yeah. a lot of people gonna fuck with this. But like I said, man, go follow my guy on Instagram. What great runs tomorrow? Um, and be tapped in. Yeah. Because my man about to be on it. Yeah. You are gonna see him either way. That's what I'm gonna say. Big things coming. If Just you don't lock in with yeah. it and see what's going on, you are gonna have to one day. Big so, things coming. But yeah, shout yeah. out to my guy Hook for coming on the podcast. Yes, I hope sir. Everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, we out.